All right, welcome back. Coastal One folks, Professor Almeida here. And in this video, I want to walk you through PowerPoint Skill Review 3.1. As before, take a look at your PowerPoint Chapter 3 Training Sim so that you can see what we will be covering. All right, so without further ado, let's get into this project. I'm gonna go ahead and download my start file here for 3.1. And let's go ahead and open it up so that in the enable editing button can appear so while we are waiting on that let's take a look and see what 3.1 brings us in this project you will be modifying the look of the marketing presentation from the rw morris marketing agency first you will change the look of the presentation by changing the theme adjusting the colors and applying a pattern to the slide background. You will then apply transitions to all the slides in the presentation. You will adjust the look of a drawing object, smart art diagram, picture, and a table. Finally, you will animate a smart art diagram and change the effects of the animation. So there might be some things we haven't seen before, but again, you can take some of the skills with you back to Word and even Excel, especially with smart art graphics. So all of that coming up, right here let's go ahead and begin okay so here are your skills needed to complete the project as before steps one and two let's go ahead check those off and see if enable editing is there there it is let's click enable editing and let's go ahead and begin step three change the presentation theme and variant okay so let me explain something here when you open up a brand new PowerPoint presentation you can choose the theme you want along with the variant okay the variant as you can see here these are different color palettes right but it's pretty much the same theme so in here the design tab you can see the different themes that are offered right when you go to open up a new presentation you can choose from any of the themes and the variants and then later on if you decide to change your mind you can go ahead and change the theme and the variant with it you can see there in the live preview uh how things change be careful with this folks because if you decide to change your theme you want to take a moment go through all of your slides so that everything appears as intended quick story time okay once upon a time there was someone who was working the av booth at a lecture hall and CBS News executives were there to give a presentation. It was being broadcast and it was the job of the AV person to make sure that the PowerPoint presentation was compatible, the slides looked as intended. Now, if you're familiar with the CBS News logo, you know, it's the I and it says CBS News. Well, an issue came up with the CBS News logo where the I covered up part of CBS so that it read BS News. I'll be here all week and be sure to uh, tip on the way out the door there. Okay, but that drives the point home. You wanna make sure you check your slides for compatibility because nothing is more embarrassing than giving a talk and then, you know, things don't look right with your visuals behind you. So just think BS News, all right. That's enough of that. Let's go ahead and change our theme and variant. So we want the Berlin theme and we're gonna choose the green variant here. So in the design tab, themes group, we're gonna choose Berlin, there's Berlin, and then the variant is going to be green. And the designer pane is getting in the way here, so we'll get rid of that. So that takes care of step three. Step four, apply a pattern background to a slide. Let's go to slide one and still in the design tab, right? Let's go to customize and choose format background. And the, that brings up the format background pane here. In the format background task pane, select the pattern fill radio button under fill. Okay, so you can see here are your options here. So once again, it's going to be pattern fill. So choose pattern fill. 
Okay, there's pattern fill. And then we're going to choose the third option in the second row. It's called dotted 70%. So second row, third option, dotted 70%. Let the tooltips help you. Okay, so that takes care of part D here. And now E and F, foreground and background. Okay, foreground and background. Foreground, we want green background too, darker 50%. Third option in the last row under theme colors. Okay, so foreground. I'm going to have to scroll down here. Here it is. Foreground. So again, we want green background two, darker 50%. Wait, hold on. Let me check. Yep, green background two, darker 50%. Background is going to be darker 25 Okay, so that'll be the button just right above. So foreground, again, let's check. Green background two, darker 50%. And then for background, we have green background two, darker 25%. There you go. Click the close button at the top of the task pane. All right, how are we doing, folks? Again, if you need a break, take the break. Let's go ahead and save this and move on to step five. Let's apply a slide transition to all the slides in the presentation. And we do this by going into the Transitions tab. Okay, so here's the Transitions tab. Here's a large gallery of transitions to choose from. And we're going to choose the split transition. Now, if you don't see the split transition, you can click on the more button to see all of them. Okay, so here's that more button if you want to see all transitions. Okay, but we want the split transition. Now, notice you can choose some options with this transition. You'll see the timing group. You have other options here. And notice that now you have this little star showing up next to slide one. Okay, that tells you that there's a transition or an animation for that slide. And in the timing group, we're going to click apply to all. Okay, we'll choose apply to all here. And now you'll see the star shows up for all the slides. Okay, step six. Let's go to slide five and select the call out shape at the top of the slide. Okay, so slide five, here's that call out shape. Let's go ahead and select it and you'll see the shape format tab. Okay, there's the shape format tab. So we have the call out shape and in the shape format tab, shape styles, we want the second option in the third row, light one outline color fill lime accent one. Try saying that fast five times. Okay, so let's go into the gallery. Again, third row, second option. I'm just gonna tell you that. So here it is, shape styles. All right, third row, second option, light one outline, color fill, lime accent one, looks good. And in step seven, change the shape fill color of drawing object. Still in the shape styles group, now we're going to change the shape, the shape fill, change the shape fill to lime accent one, lighter 60%, third row fifth option okay so now we can actually override our shape style here okay so once again we are changing the shape fill third row fifth option okay go to the third row fifth option lime accent one lighter 60 percent okay i know it doesn't look like lime but trust the tooltip here Okay, lime accent one, lighter 60%. Now let's change the outline. So we're gonna bring up shape outline and it's lime accent one, lighter 80%. That's in the second row, fifth option. Okay, so we're still here, shape outline. Okay, now it's the second row, lime accent one, lighter 80%. Okay, let's make sure we save.
still working on this. Let's go to the shape outline button again, point to weight and select the three point option. Okay, we're still here, shape outline. Let's go down to weight and choose three points. Okay, and then we'll save again. All right, that is it for our call out shape. Let's take a look at slide eight. We have a smart art graphic there. Okay, here it is. Here's our smart art graphic. If we click into it, you'll see two tabs show up smart art design and format. Okay, so those are the two tabs here. And we're going to start in step nine, slide eight, with the smart art design tab. And in the styles, smart art styles group, we're going to choose the polished style, which is the sixth option in the gallery. So we have smart art design. Okay, here we are. And if we go into the smart art styles group, we're going to click on the polished style. Okay, so it's the sixth option polished it's actually under 3d so i can see how this might be confusing because here's polished right it's under 3d and in the smart art styles group click the change colors button and select color fill accent to second option in the accent to section so here we go change colors accent two and once again it is the second option color fill accent two as you can see i'm switching back and forth between my instructions might be good i a good idea to print out your instructions so you have them in front of you okay just saying all right we'll go ahead and save this Step 10, apply an animation effect. With the smart art diagram still selected, we're gonna to go to the animations tab and in the animation group, we're gonna choose the float in animation effect. Okay, so let's make sure our smart art is still selected. Let's go to animations. And again, it is the float in animation effect. Okay, as before, just like with transitions, you can see we have different effect options here. We also have timing. So this should look familiar. And if you have animations applied, you'll see a star next to the slide number. All right, step 11. We're going to change the animation effect. So we'll choose the effect options button and choose float down, okay? Effect options, float down. Okay, you see a preview of what's going to happen. And then once again, effect options one by one. Okay, so we'll hit this menu again, effect options, and then change the sequence to one by one. Okay, you see how that changes there. Step 12, apply a quick style to a table. Let's go to slide nine. Okay, let's go to slide nine and I'll save real quick here. Here's the table. If I click into the table, that brings up the table design and layout tabs. Okay, and what they want us to do here for this table is to change the table style. And we're gonna select theme style one, accent two, third option in the best match for document section. Okay, so we'll click on more here. And in the menu, best match for document, once again, it is theme style one, accent two, third option. Theme style one, accent two, always verify with the tool tip. Okay, theme style one, accent two, under best match for document. There you go. By the way, if you need that pause button, it's there, but we're almost done anyway. Step 13, apply a picture style to an image. Slide nine. Okay, let's go to slide nine here. Still in slide nine. Okay, click on the picture. Go to the picture format tab. Okay, notice the picture styles gallery. 
they want us to choose simple frame white first option in the gallery okay let the instructions help you out here okay picture styles click on more and it's simple frame white it's the first option in the gallery and at this point we are now done with the project so be sure to save and close the presentation and let's get our moment of truth here all right back to the top upload file and then skill review 3.1 3.1 submit the file and it's going to take a moment here all right 100 percent. so that is it for powerpoint skill review 3.1 how did you do folks did you get 100 percent also anyway if this video helped you out hit that like button and i'll see you in the next one good luck take care of yourselves and we have one more walkthrough video